hello everyone so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I transform this hot mess into this beautiful masterpiece you see here all right so this is my closet before I'm embarrassed and ashamed to even show this on camera it's about time that I upgrade you know got a nice looking sewing room and then this closet is just a hot mess like girl how can you live like this you all be shame you all be shame so the first thing i went ahead and did to get organized was purchase these boxes from the container store got all of my patterns up off the floor and put it in these um easy to assemble boxes they were about 3.99 from the container store and in order to label the boxes i used a tutorial from denise cooper all it required was me to print out these labels. Well, they aren't even labels. I just printed out the paper, put some, slap some uh, packing tape on top. And uh, yeah, so you should follow her tutorial. I really like these. It gives them a nice classic look. And then inside of the boxes, I'm able to fit about 90 to 100 patterns. So this is how I have the pattern stored currently. But in the future, when my stash continues to grow, because you know I'm always buying patterns when they're on sale, I can squeeze some on the side there and really maximize my space. All right, next up is my favorite part of the room. So I got these rose gold hangers from Marshalls. So they're velvet with rose gold hooks. And what I did was I'm hanging my PDF patterns and also my self-drafted patterns on these. And in order to do that, I bought some rose gold binder clips from Amazon. And this way, because the paper that I use for PDF patterns and also self-drafted patterns, uh, I don't like to fold too much. So this was the perfect way for me to hang those long patterns that you can't fold back up and, you know, store any other way. So I really love these. And moving forward I'll probably will get some binder clip some paper clips to paper clip everything first and then use the binder clips all right so for some additional storage I bought this wired basket from Target and this is another place where I'm able to roll up my patterns and also keep my roll of pattern drafting paper so this fits nice and neatly in the corner of the closet and then this uh, shelf unit here, I got this from Ikea. It was silver and then I'm just crazy with rose gold right now. I just rose gold everything is the theme of this closet. So I got some spray paint from Joann's and uh, look here, this was an experience. This will probably probably be the last time I spray paint anything um, because it's messy and um, the fumes. But uh, yeah, so I have some different baskets and things on that. And then I had to downsize my scrap fabric. So this is the bin that I have. I had to let a lot of scrap fabric go. And I said, if it can't fit in here, then you just need to let it go. We're not, we're not storing anymore, okay? And then lastly, this is just another look at the room. Um, I will have all the links for the tutorial for the the labels for the binder clips um yeah so all the the links for everything that i mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe and i will see you in my next one